I knew that there would be something if you finished these side quests. I knew it, I knew it. Bologna seems to be not satisfied with taking out the monsters, which is what this side quest was about, or sorry, the achievement side quests, whatever. So she's gonna fight Sez instead to satiate herself. And she's getting a little frustrated that he's too easy going. So she's gonna add a little condition. Let's see what the condition is. If you win, I'll grant you any wish you want. Oh, baby. I know some of us would love this opportunity. Oh, they went and bought ice cream. Oh, so says one, their fight. Oh, my wish has already come true. All I wish is to stay together with Bologna and everyone else. Aww, it's so romantic. And Rin says, since we've come all the way to the beach, we should at least do something special we could reminisce on later. Sexual. Fine, if you don't know how to enjoy yourself, I'll teach you how. Sexual. That way you can know what else you'd like next time. Sexual. Definitely has to be like the intro to a porno. <laughs> What's going on guys, it is your boy Cash and it is now finally time to continue the story. Let us quickly recap. We found a mermaid and now we are trying to let the mermaid go back to her home. And it's crazy that's actually the summary after all the time that it took me to get to that. But we found a mermaid, we're trying to bring her back to her home. She realized she can't find her home, something might have happened. Chaos Gates might be involved because it's Epic 7. So let's pretty much see what else we can get to and see what fantastical stuff we can get to. and. Allowing you guys to skip, I'm only going to find the most relevant information and a couple of jokes. Alright, so first starting back, we're now underwater if you guys didn't know that. With the technology that Yuna has provided with us, so Nini obviously doesn't need it. It would have been a nice touch if they would have showed it on the other characters as well. But we're underwater and I guess now she's showing us where she actually woke up initially. Looks like we might actually get into the, the slight backstory of why the Mer people actually do not interact with humans anymore. Nini is talking about that... The mer people used to interact with humans and this ruin might be one of the places where they did it because it was, you know it's more closer to the shore so maybe something had happened looks like they found an unknown in the thing which means if they're unknown there are chaos gates that is actually the theme of the game if you guys didn't know that's how any unknown comes into the world is through chaos gates oh finally something interesting this might be from our creation myth i heard that mer people were originally normal humans living on the land after fighting several wars against the Archdemon, our ancestors wanted to make sure that they were prepared for the next one by creating a powerful creature to fight for them instead of the heirs. They succeeded in summoning such a creature, but instead of using it only to fight the Archdemon, they used it to conquer other countries. They got greedy. With its tremendous strength, it left the land in flames. Angered by this, the goddess banished the creature and my ancestors' cities to the bottom of the sea. That's messed up. But instead of leaving everyone to drown, she gave them fins and gills, and that's how mer people were created. So that is super interesting. So like, it's like a different spin on like the world of Atlantis. Like, like they pretty much were humans. They created a monster and they got greedy because they started taking over countries. And then the goddess was like, okay, you guys are OD. And then put them down into the ocean, but didn't, not to kill them, they still were allowed to live lives by giving them the gills and that's how they mer- like that's a cool spin on mermaids. I mean, if there's- I never knew the story of mermaids, so if that's similar to the regular story, let me know. But it's a pretty cool spin on it. I never know- that- that I personally never heard. So they say that it's either the goddess destroyed it, while others say that it was too great for her, so she sealed it away. Very likely she sealed it and we're gonna have to fight it. <laughs> that's just how that works. Okay, we're getting a little something spicy here also. So obviously what they've been doing is they've been looking for a chaos gate and now they found this pathway that leads down they're starting to hear some noises coming down from the pathway. Or they're just gonna come back to it, I guess. Karen starts to get this weird feeling that she's actually being followed. And it turns out to be this little girl, which we saw at the end of the first part of the side story. And they do at least acknowledge that they, she, they look alike. She's probably like her shade, her moonlight shade or whatever. Thanks, says. For some reason, this mer lady girl thing, <laughs> pseudo Nini, recognizes Karen for some reason. And she's like really upset. Oh, well, not really, but she's kind of upset that Karen does not remember her. So it's almost as if there's something must have happened. Uh, someone that looks like Karen, maybe Bloodblade Karen or something of that other nature. And she's already gone into crazy mode. I won't let you go back outside ever again. Then you can never forget about me. Boss fight? Oh no, straight up snatchies. <laughs> wow. 
straight up no 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 fight no cutscene gimme come here now says and Nini finally go back to Bologna and Rin to tell them about the bad news so Nini reveals that she's actually always been somewhat of an outcast amongst her actual people the only reason why she actually came on land was to have fun and exciting stories and then maybe then people would actually like her you know the classic let me go on a trip or something like that or let me go do something fantastic and everybody will like me actually a pr pretty much a problem with today's society with a lot of things back to kidnap hq this is like super creepy kidnapping like she's giving her jewelry she's giving her stuff please say my name i want to hear it in your voice again <laughs> Super creepy stuff here. Call me Benny. Here's some interesting text. After Papa lost his crown, I became a fugitive, so I needed a place where no one could find me. This is Karen, which is weird that she always pretty much has a happy expression, even though she's currently kidnapped. She's trying to gather information on why exactly Benny is actually here. And Benny says that she's been waiting for her. He, she's been pretty much hiding because she's a fugitive. See, look, nobody wants to come here. And I'm assuming this is gonna lead back into yeah, something. This is where we used to trade with humans. We gave them pearls and corals and they would pay us with treasures. People got greedy and kept going deeper and deeper to get more things and eventually they reached the place where the creature was summoned long ago. So some of the truth of the other stories coming to, to play. Also, another thing to mention is that when Rin and Bologna were by themselves, they were finding there were various different treasures from all over the land, and that's probably why, because they were trading with the with the Mer people. Yep, so after the monsters started popping up everywhere, they left their treasure behind and swam in deeper into the sea. But the monsters kept coming, so which I'm assuming this probably means something of, of the nature of uh, the Chaos Gates opening, and now that's why there's unknown in the sea now. Are you okay? You look pale. So pretty much... Uh, I'm skimming through everything, hopefully, trying to get this video not to be over like 15 minutes. I apologize if it is. The device that Yuna has used for them to be breathing underwater is starting to run out. Didn't seem as important, but it is important to note that since Karen is separated from the group, she obviously has no way to refill it. The others could go back and refill theirs, but they're worried that Karen Karen's is going to run out. And now Benny is starting to notice it too. But every time Karen tries to leave, she wants her to promise that she'll stay with her forever. And Karen is, you know, which most people I feel like at this point would just lie and just be like, yeah, sure, I'll stay with you. But Karen is being the truthful, you know, goody two shoes that you know her to be. Ooh, and then Karen hit her with the, the, the truth. Look, she doesn't even have the smiley facial expressions. Like friends don't manipulate each other into giving them what they want. Woo! There's some people that need to hear that. That 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 might be the hashtag. That whole thing right there. Some people definitely need to hear that. Karen's like, yo, you have to learn how to be by yourself because even family will leave you alone eventually. That's why you should learn how to love yourself and be more independent. Yo, what is this game? <laughs> this game is teaching life lessons. Why would anybody like? Oh, damn, the savagery. When you don't even like yourself. Woo! This. And it seems that the crew has finally got up. They heard heard Karen's lecturing through the oceans and was able to find her. And amongst trying to escape, it looks like Karen faints. So they tried to leave. They left Benny alone and then realized now that they need her help because, because the pathway that they actually took to get to her is now blocked off. And as she does, didn't you just try to heartlessly abandon me and now you want me to ask me a favor? That is true. So Benny actually seems to finally get them out of the ocean. And here we are back on land. Oh man, she's actually dying. This is crazy. And Nini decides to give her one of the rainbow scales, which which we knew in the side story from the first part that they actually have healing capabilities, so it heals Karen right up. And here it is, I guess the connection. Rin found a necklace while they were underwater, and this necklace I gave to my auntie when I was little, so now here's the connection that it's Karen's aunt and said that very likely was the one that spent time with Benny. And that's a picture of her. But does it move? We need to know if it moves. I guess that kind of looks like Karen. See, it says stranger and she's not animated. So, eh, I mean, they could still somewhat do it, but if it, it has to move, it has to move to have a chance. She has a name though, Celine. And of course, throughout all the misunderstandings that's going on here, Karen is probably now determined to go back into the ocean to talk to Benny to tell her the whole story. So this is probably where the story probably becomes somewhat unimportant unless something actually cool happens in the underwater part. But I, I, I'll hold my breath like I'm underwater. Oh yeah, we do have to, okay, so there is still a point. We gotta close that chaos gate too. All right, now we're back with Benny and she is losing her shit. And Karen comes out of nowhere with the smile and the same drink underwater. 
and then Garen tries to give her the information. She says, screw you, if you're not gonna stay with me, don't talk to me. And this is probably gonna extend this longer than it needs to be. Probably my favorite Karen face ever. So finally, Karen tells Benny all the information and she's trying to convince her that Celine, Karen's aunt, did not just abandon her, that Celine is just a person that like is in and out. They don't. She doesn't stay in one place too long. She just comes nowhere, has fun, and then leaves, but she still, cares about people which is kind of hard to explain it's kind of like if you ever have a person that just like is running all over the place it doesn't mean that they don't care about you just because you don't hear from them they're just you know that's just how they are and now benny to atone for her her annoyingness if that's even a word she's going to show us where the chaos gate is which is weird that she knows where it is all right now we're going back to that narrow passage that we said uh oh so there's a big unknown obviously guarding the gate apparently they can't fight it for some weird reason even though it's a bunch of them down there so benny is suggesting that she lures it away which doesn't sound good at all but apparently she is a master at uh baiting people all right ladies and gentlemen it's one of these parts where they're gonna make me gather a bunch of stuff pretty much they're searching for the chaos gate and I have to gather a bunch of crap until uh, it allows me to progress through the story. So I'll see you guys in a couple seconds. This is the unknown that is chasing Benny. And suddenly it just disappears. It I must sense that the others are getting close to the chaos gate. And she looks like she probably stepped in front of it and got cut. I don't know if she's dead though, but she's confirmed trying to die though because she made a promise. And now the unknown is in front of them, so that's not a good sign. Oh, okay, she's alive. And maybe she's not. <laughs> it's like going back and forth. She's injured badly. Okay, maybe she might make it to the end. So now some of them are gonna go look for the Chaos Gate to send Nini back to her world, while the others are gonna fight the, un the, the unknown. Okay, that was weird. They must have started fighting. Yeah, there we go. It's like, what? Where's that noise coming from? Holy God, we're finally at the Chaos Gate. So they've been trying to stall out this, this big ass unknown. And it's starting to become an actual issue because they're fighting underwater. They're getting injuries. They're running out of air. So it's almost as if, if this was on land that they probably would be able to deal with it. But since they're underwater, it's just, it's a lot of hassle. Apparently not for Sez, he can do it by himself. Rebecca literally pulls out uh, the Krillin of the series. They're all fighting, they're all hurt, and now she's gonna give them all rainbow scales, which we have already proven earlier in this video that they have healing capabilities, so it literally giving them a sense of beat. All right, so we beat the stupid unknown. Now after everything, they're gonna probably bring Benny and Nini back. Unknowns who have just left the gate are weaker than those who have been in our world for a long time. Interesting. So that would mean unknown are actually weaker when inside the gates. That's the cool stuff that I like to know. Apparently Karen didn't get hurt during the fight and she's like, well, then you can, I'll give you back the rainbow scale. And she says you can keep it. So that's kind of where the whole thing of the artifact comes in. That's why we get the artifact, the rainbow scales, because that is the one that Nini decides to give to Karen as a like souvenir, as a memento. Somehow this is still going. I, I don't know what's next. Now we're talking to Auntie. So very interesting enough, Nini goes back to her world through the chaos gate, but Benny stays. I, I, for some reason, I thought that they were gonna go together. Oh my God, it's finally the end. Oh, uh, I thought it was the end, but they got this thing. I'm not covering this. Whatever this is, I'll figure it out. I'm pretty sure you guys know what it is. I'm done. That's the stupid story. All right, leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm a battered man. That took like at least three to four hours to do just because of all the back and forth. And also I'm watching Evo on the side, but so far it was pretty cool. It makes it kind of open that they might do something with Merle people, maybe Mer people, that maybe we might see something in the future as far as like maybe a mermaid character or actually start introducing something that I've always wanted in these games, but they usually don't do it or actual like creatures and not just have these uh, humanoid characters. I would, love, I would love for, what is his name? Nick 
Nilgal. I always wanted him to eventually become a character because he had a lot to do with Poison and stuff like that. Just weird stuff, man. And I really think that they could definitely do that or even make a uh, like a really crazy unknown character like that's fused with humans or something like that. But, you know, this game has been strictly humans and, you know, whatever. But it would be cool if they did stuff like that. Let me know what you guys think about the story. And if you played through it, if you did pay attention to the story, what did you think about the length? I complained about it a little bit. I didn't want to be too much of a negative Nancy. But I do have a... I do feel that they could shorten that up a little bit. Either compile the things into less stages. I think that that was a lot of stamina that you have to spend to get to the end of the story. And as you can see, I'm technically not done if I want the hidden achievement stuff. So... I'm really hoping that, you know, that won't take me too much stamina to do, but it was overall pretty fun. I think the writing of it was actually really good. I think that it was actually interesting, but it, was just, took, it just took too long to get to everything overall. But anyway, remember, every day at the casino is your lucky day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.